Hello, I am Munir Hock and you are watching Developing Simple Quiz Android App Development Tutorial in Kotlin. This is the seventh part video uh, of our Simple Quiz App Development series. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use navigation and navigation uh, graph to navigate through different fragments. Uh, we will also use a pop up pop up behavior to navigation uh, of navigation to manipulate our fragment back, back stack. So let's do it. Uh, in this stage, we will uh, add two more fragments. So click right click here, new and fragment fragment blank. We will we are not going to use any um, xml file because we already have those xml files so uncheck those and name will be uh, quiz own fragment okay quiz own fragment finish and as usual uh, we will add data binding here so let init for binding and the binding will be type of type of yes layout here the correct answer okay so name would be fragment correct answer binding and here I do not need this so binding because data binding util dot uh, data binding util dot uh, it's a, we need an inflator so inflate and here is the inflator and here is the view group so inflator dot the view group oh First we need the layout so r dot layout dot fragment this fragment so this layout quiz uh, sorry this correct answer layout so fragment dot uh, layout dot fragment correct answer and then we will take the container view group and we don't want to attach our uh, layout to the view hierarchy so it will be false and then and then we will return the binding dot root okay so similarly we will create another fragment which will be quiz lost fragment so right click here and fragment fragment blank it will be quiz lost fragment and we do not note anything and we will try to copy paste some features like and this time that uh, type will be um, quiz fragment wrong answer so it will be fragment wrong answer binding and again I do not need this and we will try to copy paste some things from here so binding so And in this case, the layout will be fragment wrong answer. Okay, our fragment has built. Those fragments are created, and we will do another thing. We will go to the navigation and add those two newly created fragments here. So click here, click here, and create uh, add quiz own fragment own fragment and also add quiz lost fragment okay 
and depending on our score we will go either from the quiz game fragment we will either go to the quiz own fragment or if we fail we will go to the quiz lost fragment so we will create two actions here so action from here and action and create action from here to here so two actions has been created and uh, it is always a very good practice to uh, clean a project and just um, uh, be, uh, if you do anything if you make any changes in navigation graph so i will like to clean the project first build and clean project and while the it is cleaning the project so i will go to the quiz game fragment and here depending on the our game logic inside the get score so if the score is if it is own i will send it to the own fragment so this is very simple i will create a navigation navigation dot find nav controller and it will be the view so it will be the view the and it will be the uh, view of the fragment and view dot navigate and it will be r dot id dot the action which will be the action quiz game fragment to sorry quiz game fragment to quiz own fragment so this will happen okay okay what happened here okay this is saying that type mismatch required and it will be a nullable so i will put a uh, this this is called the not null assertion of assertion operator what does the not null assertion of op operator does it is a kotlin feature so this not null assertion assertion operator converts the any value to a non null type and throws an exception if the value is null so basically it is saying that uh, it is make uh, actually it is ensuring that the view is not null okay so same thing goes to here also uh, navigation dot find nav controller and the view not uh, not null assess 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 operator so view dot navigate and r dot id dot uh, this time quiz game fragment to quiz lost fragment okay so if i now uh, run this app what will happen so i click the play and select some questions such as washington and pacific and it will be cambodia and so it is uh uh, it is uh, taking me to the uh, own fragment this is this is the uh, quiz uh, own fragment and i can do another thing i can go back and again play and now this time i will try to uh, be failed so this 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 and this and this is the uh, quiz lost fragment so our conditional frag, uh, conditional navigation is working fine now one thing we will do that if i press the back button we will see a problem so when i want uh, when i press the back button it is taking me the same question here because i don't want to uh, come here i want to go to the directly uh, the title fragment so how can i do it so we, in order to do this uh, um, uh, backstack manipulation i will go to the app navigation here and this is the this in the action i will first select this action and the action the pop behavior so i will go to the quiz game fragment this fragment quiz game fragment and make it inclusive so what does it mean this means that uh, 
the pop to we pop to our quiz game fragment and uh, if there are um, uh, say if there are more fragments between quiz game fragment and quiz own fragment so then uh, that will be then the quiz game fragment uh, then the this pop to quiz game fragment will uh, we uh, will actually pop us to the quiz game fragment and the inclusive means we will also inclusively we will also go uh, beyond this quiz game fragment that is our title fragment okay so same thing we do to this action also this action also so is it will be quiz game fragment and it will be inclusive okay now if i run this app So we can see uh, in this app play and this, this, okay. And we, as expected, we go to the uh, quiz own fragment. Now, if I press the back button, what will happen? So this is, uh, we go directly to the title fragment because of the uh, inclusive nature of uh, quiz game fragment now now we will do a, one more thing so if we play and go here so playing the play next we if we want to go to the uh, if a user uh, press the play next we want to take the user to the title fragment for in our case uh, I will take it to the title fragment so how can I do it we will add another another action so from quiz fragment to back to the title fragment okay so let me show you so quiz fragment to the title fragment and the, as this is directly go here and if and I will uh, I will select this action and make it to title fragment and I do not I will not check inclusive this time because uh, if I check inclusive it will uh, go beyond the title fragment and the app could uh, crash because we do not have anything beyond the title fragment so same thing I will do for the quiz lost fragment also so create a action to to from quiz lost fragment to title fragment and selecting the action and the pop up to title fragment okay now we run this app so uh, uh, press play and selecting values So we uh, it is working. Uh, it, uh, we go to the we have gone to the uh, quiz own fragment and clicking the play next. Okay, okay. I just forgot one thing because action will do uh, will not uh, do the thing alone. We need to uh, define the set on click listener for this action. So we go back to the. Uh, quiz game fragment quiz own fragment first and here uh, before the binding I will uh, okay let me check whether uh, quiz quiz uh, quiz card answer fragment and the button is uh, button is button play next okay so quiz own fragment so it will be binding dot button play next dot set on click listener and it will be navigation dot find nav controller and this time it will be this view so it it dot navigate and it will be r dot id dot this time the quiz own fragment to title fragment okay 
region from to title format okay so we will do the same thing to quiz lost fragment let me close these things i do not need this quiz lost fragment so quiz inside the quiz lost fragment so binding dot uh, button try again dot set on click listener and navigation dot find nav controller it will be it dot navigate and r dot id dot this time uh, quiz lost fragment to title fragment okay now we can run this so uh, we can see our application so here now and if i press the play next it will go back to the title fragment so everything is working fine we have uh, our navigation um, navigation is working fine the navigation pop up behavior is working fine so next thing uh, we will do we will work on navigation graph nav sorry navigation safe works and this tutorial is uh, uh, end uh, thank you and please watch my next tutorial on navigation safe works